they don't have that, they should definitely think about doing that because things like this can happen. Oh, this kind of stinks. <gasps> I missed. I missed my face. How do you do that? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would share my boxy charm with you guys. So let's just jump right into it. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free. So please click that subscribe button. Thank you. All right, so I didn't get to actually look through the box. I did open it, but I didn't like look through the contents of the box. Let's see, so this is the theme this month. It says Boxy Charm Getaway. So that's nice. All right, we'll go with this as our first item. It got kind of squished. <sighs> yeah, but that's okay. Oh, wow. Okay. That's okay. So this is by Touch and Soul, and it's their No Pore Bloom Prime Essence. I'm assuming this is just a primer. It says it's infused with Calendula uh, officinalis flower extract. It's supposed to tighten your pores and keep your skin silky, silky smooth. And yes, they have silky, silky on there. Twice. Let's test this baby out. Oh, weird. Oh my gosh. That is so weird. <gasps> I missed. I missed my face. How do you do that? Mm, I feel like those Instagram beauty gurus, you know? Mm, this smells really good. It smells like almost like a baby cream, a baby lotion or something. This feels really nice on the skin. It's like really like liquidy, so very moisturizing. I don't know if this is supposed to dry down or stay dewy, so I'm just going to wait a few minutes. So in the meantime, I'm going to look and see what else we have in the box. We're going to go with this big box, and it's from Tarte which is pretty exciting. Let's see, it's their BU Naturally Eyeshadow Palette. Gosh, sorry, the AC is so loud. It like, it literally knows when I'm about to film. That's when it's like, anyways. So this is what the outside looks like. Um, This reminds me so much of the other two palettes that I got from BoxyCharm. Looks similar, hopefully the inside is not similar to those. It is pretty similar. It smells really good though. So these were the first two palettes that I got from BoxyCharm and this is the third one. I mean, they're pretty similar. They're not the same, but they're not drastically different either. I don't, I don't know, does Tarte not have any other colors? I think this one was actually my least favorite, the Volume 3 palette, mainly because like three or four of these eyeshadows, they looked like exactly the same on my skin tone. Hopefully that's not the case with this one. Don't get me wrong, I do love Tarte eyeshadows, but when they look so similar to the things that I, you know, they've already sent me, I, I don't get as excited. But hopefully it looks really nice on the eyes. I'm just gonna fast forward through this part and point and you know the drill. All right, so I went ahead and put on some foundation. I used the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation. And this foundation usually gives me the most texture. And so I purposefully used this over the primer to see if it really did like minimize my pores. And from what I can tell, it does look a lot better than when I use it with you know any other primer or by itself. I don't really see much texture going on right now, at least not as much as I usually do. And because the primer was so like moisturizing, I feel like it didn't really create any like dry patches or anything that I normally get. So I really, really like it so far. And I was definitely surprised by this palette. I liked this so much that I'm actually thinking of getting rid of these two because this by far is the best out of all three. The colors were the most different and the most wearable. I used five out of the eight shades, so 
I got a pretty good feel for this eyeshadow palette. I definitely prefer this one over the Rainforest of the Sea volumes 2 and 3. For sure. Wow, I was pleasantly surprised. I was not excited at all when I saw the colors, as you saw. But yeah, I actually really, really like this eyeshadow palette. The next item is a lip liner by Dirty Little Secret. This is in the shade Pale Pink. It's a wooden lip liner, which I don't like wooden lip liners. And from swatching it on my hand, it doesn't really feel... Oh, well, the tip of it just broke off, so that's great. It doesn't feel the smoothest. I don't know how I feel about this, so let's try it out. It's just like rolling off. I don't know if you can tell. If you can see that, it's like chunks of it. <laughs> it's just coming off. It's kind of weird. It's not really gliding on. Let me apply some chapstick first and maybe that'll help. I don't know how I feel about the color. It is much lighter than what I'm used to. It's like a very peachy nude. Emphasis on the nude. This lip liner is really crumbly and patchy, which is not at all what I look for in a lip liner. And to top it all off, it's not a roll-up lip liner, so... I don't like it. Oh! And this one smells bad. I don't know if I just got a bad one. This kind of stinks. I'm not a fan of this whatsoever. There's so many better lip liners, especially like even in the drugstore, which are much more affordable than this one. This one is, yeah, 15 bucks. I would not pay 15 bucks for this. I don't know. Hopefully I just got a bad one, but I did not like this. The next item in the box is by Dominique Cosmetics and it is the Lemonade Lip Gloss. And this is in the shade Peach Tea. Okay, the packaging is adorable. I love this packaging. It's so summery to me. Mmm, smells so good. It smells very caramelly, like a caramel brulee drink. I don't know how well this lip color goes with this eyeshadow look. <laughs> but it's actually a really nice gloss. It doesn't feel sticky and it's pretty opaque. Um, the only thing is if your lips are chapped or dry, it just does not look the best. It kind of collects in the cracks. But the thing is, I don't even think it's the lip gloss's fault. I really think it's the lip liner because I exfoliated my lips this morning and they were fine all day but then when i started using this i don't know wow this just really disappointed me i think i don't know but this is a really really pretty color i would probably put this on by itself or over a darker lip liner it is a little too light for my taste um, but it does make me look quite tan so this is actually not that bad i actually do quite like this but the lip liner kind of ruined it for me. And I have been into lip glosses so much lately, especially during the warmer months. Pretty much all I wear is lip gloss, so this will be a great addition. All right, so we're on to the last item in the box. And <laughs> this is the Saint Tropez Self Tan Classic Bronzing Mousse. Um, I don't tan this is my natural skin color and if anything all of my indian sisters out there know that we try to get fairer not more tan so i don't know what i'm supposed to do with this it even comes with like a tanning mitt i've never tanned in my life i don't know how it works this is a pretty big letdown because i don't i don't even know i can't even pass it on to any of my family because None of them tan. I don't know if BoxyCharm actually has one of those quizzes that you know takes into consideration your skin tone and all of that. I could have sworn I did it, but I it's probably for Ipsy Bag. I'm not sure if I did it for BoxyCharm, but if they don't have that, they should definitely think about doing that because things like this can happen. I don't even know who I'm gonna give this to. So those were all of the items in the box. This box wasn't the best. I'm gonna be honest, I've had way better boxes in the past. Three out of the five items were good, but the other two were like, what? 
the lip liner was a total total letdown and this was also a total letdown I won't be able to use this won't want to use this either so if I had to pick my favorite items in this one's box it would definitely have to be these three because the other two were just <sighs> not that great so for this month I would have to rate this box a three out of five it wasn't the worst but it wasn't the best so it was kind of like a meh box you know hopefully next month they knock it out of the park I'm counting on it i'm sorry this video was such a downer i was totally looking forward to it i always look forward to my boxy charms let me know what you guys got in your box this month did you love it did you hate it were you disappointed like i was let me know. Other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.